Hi guys, um, before I start on this, um, it's another box opening, of course. Um, this particular box opening, there's a lot of drama behind it. So if you don't like the drama, or if you don't like the doll, then don't subscribe because I'm thinking about getting more and I'm also uh, thinking about having them on my channel a lot. So if you don't like the doll, if you don't want to watch, you don't have to. I prefer no negative comments, but if you have to, you have to. And the, well, and also, I should probably state that this is our first silicone doll. Mm -hmm. It comes from Amazon? Yeah, it's a, uh, it's Iveta dolls. Yes, but this one's this, Bombs. Yeah, this is an off-brand of Iveta. It's a Bombs. Mm -hmm. uh, she's 18 inches. Yes. It's a girl. Um, I'm going to name her Lily. Yes, I came up with the name and my mom fell in love with it. So, um, so let's get started. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. I it's can't a, believe that's a skill with a ball. So I've got the sleeping one. Huh? Without knocking over the pan. She's a puzzle coming. Oh my gosh. She's... Yeah, we should probably show her packaging because. Now I've watched a lot of YouTube and this has just her recently been coming packaged like this. Um, it used to be not very. It used to be not very packaged at all. Mm, yeah. Because they're so cheaply made. How much was she again? Like $300? Around here. Yeah, because silicone dolls tend to be up to a thousand dollars, and I feel like most families cannot afford such an expensive doll, and that's why a lot of people go this route, a lot of doll collectors do, because it really is the only option if you want a silicone doll and you simply cannot afford it, like we cannot afford to keep on uh, trying to buy a really expensive so one. I don't see spending thousands of dollars on a doll. Yeah, I like collecting dolls and everything. But spending thousands of dollars on a doll, like I seen a silicone that was over two thousand dollars. I don't see it. Yeah, and I'm sorry to the artists out there that's got their sculpts stolen, but I just don't see spending that kind of money. And the most expensive doll we've probably purchased in this household with all of our dolls, I believe, would be about three hundred, four hundred dollars. Now my doll, June Awake was almost $700. Okay, so that's our most expensive dollar. So almost as much as the silicone, but we, we really don't spend that like amount on a doll as often as you think we would. It's only like $150 to $200 and a little over, but that's the most expensive doll in this house so far. Okay, so this is her birth certificate. They have her name as Dala, but I won't be keeping that. Um, she was born at 10.30 a.m. on January 6, 2018. She weighs 6 pounds, 7 ounces, and she's 18 inches long. 6 pound baby. This is the bow that came with the packaging. Oh my gosh, she's so fluffy. Oh my gosh, she's so squishy. And it looks like I could probably get a, pa or a pacifier in there, which is something I've been wanting. She's a little dirty, so I might have to wash her. We we are actually getting a free, a couple of free uh, baby baths here soon, most likely, from this lady on Vine that I have through a Facebook uh, place that I go on to, and they get things out for free. So this is, this doll will probably be washed in that. Well, we'll probably do it in the sink first. Yeah. Here she is. Yeah, I see the seams. A lot of people so I talk about that. She's squishy. Um, oh, here. They want proof? Here's squishy here. She, I got her a brand new outfit that I just got upstairs. I'll have to go get. We'll probably pause and wash her up and get her situated. Um, of course, she's autonomously correct. Um, yeah, there is some negative stuff on it, like that. Yeah, there's a little bump. It's just called a birthmark. Yeah, it's not too bad. The fingers are so tiny compared to vinyl balls. There's the back. Yeah, we got a bunch on that booty, I guess. Very bumpy, so bumps. I'm not that close to the camera. I'm not pushing it. Oh, sorry. 
tape. Sorry? We got tape. There's tape on it. Well, we're just going to leave that there. Here's the fact. And like I said, I got the a sleep version this time. I've got another one coming tomorrow. It's a 16 inch boy. Um, but that's the oh, sleep version. We need to. Here's the. So we got that's that's a silicone. I gotta be careful though. But yeah, don't you, break her. Wonder if you can pierce her. Probably too thin though. No, I want to pierce her. I've seen people pierce her. See if the eye wiggles like that. That's that's a vinyl. That's not a vinyl. That's definitely a silicone. So I've covered up her popo. That's what the girl, my girls used to call the private area. There's her feet. Can you... It's got little wrinkles on it. And as you can tell, this is a very squishy, bendable baby. The big toe and little toe are separated. You can put flip flops on her. <laughs> now, I might be able to separate it all. Um, I've heard of people separating. Oh yeah, the the other one's the same way as the other. Yeah, but it would just it, you you have to be very careful, very gentle. You should have grabbed a diaper for her. Uh, I'm going probably going to pause, and we're going to get her washed up and baby pattern and diaper, and then I'll probably put her outfit on her. Uh, so we will be right back. Um, I like her. I think she is cute. Uh, squishy, of course. Squishy, squishy. Uh, I'm also going to see if I can get a pacifier to fit in her mouth. Yeah, because that's a... So that, that's, that's not a vinyl thing. you got to be careful. That's a nice mouth you got there. <laughs> Thanks, guys. We'll be right back. Looks like I accidentally stopped the video instead of pausing it. Um, so we have washed her, baby Lily, and now we're adding baby powder. We're using the Johnson's baby powder on her so that, you know, smells good. She smelled a little wonky. It smells like silicone, obviously. It's going to be interesting having her in the house because we've never had a silicone baby doll in the house. Yeah, I'm courage, you got to keep it away from your vinyl dolls, so... Because uh, silicone dolls uh, eat away at the vinyl, so it'll cause the vinyl to deteriorate off of your other dolls. So if you do end up buying one of these, if you are interested, and if you don't worry about all the drama, then you'll have to figure out how to keep this baby away from your other babies. So basically, you're quarantining the baby. What I, ba what I basically did is I got a changing pad from Walmart, 20 bucks, and I'm going to put, uh, kind of slide that into my bed, and I'm going to have a, a blanket, of course, on it, and that's where she will be sleeping, uh, unless I decide to have her sleep with me. Sometimes I'll sleep with the babies. Um, it's a long process, washing and drying and then baby powdering them, but it's nice because it's like having a bonding with a real baby. Yeah, consider getting uh, a 23 inch. Like I said, I got a 16 inch coming tomorrow. Um, yeah, some water can go with the mouth and flip it over as well. I'm trying to figure out what wash cloth. Even behind your ears is doing that. Washing her. Making a mess. Here, this is a little wet. Oh, 
country must have a baby. And that's what you're doing. So this came as a set. This is a child of mine, Carter's newborn. Um, I'm going to eventually get a, a twin for Melody. And um, she, they have a similar outfit that I thought it would look good together. This is like a little jacket and a little head bow. Those three things came together. And then I found these socks with other socks, of course. I thought would match it pretty good. There's flowers on it. Sorry, I'm putting this in her mouth. She's got baby powder all up in there. Cover her mouth. Okay. All right. I was making sure her face didn't have a bunch of dried baby powder over it. Water and then you put uh, baby powder. It's a new thing. If you put water and then you put baby powder, it just becomes dried baby powder. Very uh, rubbery. It's like whenever you got a silicone, it's, it's soft. Silicone is very soft, squishy, and very rubbery feeling. It's very soft rubber feeling. So putting clothing on uh, excuse me, on these types of babies can be kind of quite challenging. We don't have much experience obviously, but we're just telling you as we learn. She'll be really cute in this outfit. Suppliers to try out. I'll try to get a couple lots to test out. That one's probably not going to work. We've got this type of passy. I need something a little bit there. We've got some newer ones on there. There's a uh, Paw Patrol that I wanted to try out here. Here that is a girl version of Paw Patrol. That's me. You mean Sky? Or do you mean this one? I forget her name. Below. I know it's a children's show, but it's a cover off. Here's that. very cute over her. Passy. Oh my gosh, I'm, this one says sugar and spice. I'm not done dressing her yet, but there's her Passy. I've got to put this jacket down. I'll cover up. And I might attempt painting her later. But I think right now she is cute. Separated, and I don't want my fingers to. So I'm trying to be as gentle as I can. This person me dressing this little drums. So I might get better as I do it. She's okay. Yes, I am. You just, you, you know, guys, you just gotta embrace your weirdness sometimes. You can't go through life not embracing it. I mean, you could. I don't know where I was going with that. I don't know if I'll put shoes on her. I'm not really into putting shoes on. I wasn't into shoes when my daughters were this size, too, so. 
She's so cute. She knows she is. But this is a finished project, I think. Make sure her brand is on. This is the finished product. She looks very lovely. Very powdery. And I am very pleased with her. I shall turn you to see the mother holding her baby. I'm very pleased with her. Probably have more box openings later. That's usually, that seems to be what my channel is right now. It's box opening and maybe a few hauls. Um, oh yeah, we do have some clothing that we could probably show. But uh, thanks guys. And like I said, if you don't like Ivita's dolls, I prefer no negative comments. I understand there's a lot of drama, but let's let's be happy. As long as it makes you happy, why fight it? So. Thanks guys.